ERP for Agriculture Cooperatives. Welcome to guidance video on use of ERP. Loans, MT and LT loans. In this video, we will discuss about MT and LT loans. MT and LT loans are issued for asset creation, that is investment credit. MT and LT loans are issued as per the unit costs prescribed by NABARD. Product definition, interest policy are stipulated by NABARD. Interest is charged as per the directions of NABARD. Now we will go to the login page. Enter the user ID, password, date of operation and captcha and click on login to go to the dashboard. Once you are in dashboard, click on loans. Now you are in loans module page. Membership, register land and unit costs are already configured by the system. Now we will go to the loan application part. I am clicking on the loan application. Now enter the admission number. We have created one member and click on anywhere it will populate you to this thing now you select the loan type term loans mt and lt product type also you have to select it it is now i am selecting long term loans then automatically repayment type will be equated installments in case you select mt loans it will be equated principal method so only these two differences are there otherwise entire process is one and the same now i am going with long term loans purpose also i am selecting animal husbandry dairy development now we will have to go to the add land mortgage details here you select this mortgage deed number you put 123 and date also you put 10 10 acres 1 acre 35 cents i am keeping it here and mortgage land value 175 it has come save land mortgage now collateral amount has come automatically populated here now loan amount i am sanctioning only 40000 number of units i am selecting as only one unit investment amount is say 500 now go to next co-applicant and other aspects you have to fill in in case it is there go to next again id proof and all other things you have to keep it go to next and you just click on finish now data is saved loan application is completed now we are going to the sanction others now admission number is already there only thing is you will have to click anywhere to everything is populated here now you will have to select long term loans already there application number auto generated you have to key in the information now select this scheme program here nabad long term repayment mode you have to select it it is now i am selecting as half yearly okay sanctioned amount already we have discussed it is 40000 Rate of interest automatically will populate as per the NABA direct information. Loan period in months. I am keeping it as 36 months. Okay. Now save the data. Now data is saved. Loan application is over. Sanction order is over. Now we will go to loan disbursement. Now again admission number is already there. You will have to think. Now select the product. Product is long term as we have already done. This loan number is auto generated here. Now voucher type I will select as transfer or cash whatever it may be. Now voucher type I am selecting as cash. Automatically it will be given in words also 40,000 rupees only. Now you save the data. Current transaction 40,000 rupees only. You say yes. Add disbursement details yes. You go here. Let your folio number you have to key in. It is 123. 
and prepare voucher successful voucher now it will be displayed here print voucher so we have sanctioned 40000 rupees cash we have given in case you want you can go for print option and view the voucher so one is society voucher as already explained earlier 40000 40000 another one is customer copy 40000 40000 now close this save okay now go to fas and pass the voucher view the voucher here now this voucher is there now you click on it and select this voucher the details will be displayed here what is debit debit is dairy development loan 40000 rupees cash 40000 rupees in case this information is correct you post the transaction or in case any you find any mistake delete the transaction and enter the correct position now i am passing the voucher the voucher is passed successfully i am clicking on okay now we will go to reports day book day book we have to select the date account wise you have to select it and date is there now view the transactions here it is this 40000 rupees we have given diary loan of 40000 rupees entire information is populated in the day book and similarly ledgers are also updated now in this video we have explained about loan applications sanctions others loan disbursement in respect of mt and lt loans in our next videos we will discuss about the gold loan and other loans for support please email to erp@intellectinfo.com thank you